all this, all this, all this, they gon' sell it, sir. All this, all this, all this, they gon' sell it. Some blew my mind, and I know that you be up on it all the time. What's up with your man Elon? Oh, Elon Musk? Yeah. All right, um, Elon Musk. Elon Musk got a, a robot coming out. He got an AI. He has an AI robot coming out, and it's going to be economical. You're going to be able to afford it, all right? It's going to be $20,000. And um, you know when they when they design these robots, they already have new additions that's coming out. Anytime they come out with technology, they have stuff that, are ready, that they're going to uh, release years ahead, all right? So that one version that you're seeing, they actually have a more advanced version. Before you, before they even uh, release that first version to the general public, so right now he has a, a AI robot. Elon Musk, I don't know. Let me tell y'all something. We about the technology age is about to catapult us uh, society. What we know, we, what we know of society, all right. Um, the whole way that we deal with our, that we interact with each other. You got virtual reality coming to effect, and then you have the AI technology. The robots come into effect. So a lot of jobs that are operated by human beings are going to no longer be, they're going to be, human beings are going to be obsolete in that, in that factor. Um, basically, AIs are taking over in a lot of industries. You got cars that can drive themselves. So imagine the truckers, the trucking industry, right? Mm-hmm. Trucks are no longer going to need a human being to operate that truck to deliver that, to deliver that, 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 that package, deliver those, those items. Whatever have be, whatever's in the back of that that, tra- that trailer, all right, it's gonna meet its destination. It's gonna be an actual robot bringing it to its destination, right? So that's gonna mean a lot of people are gonna lose jobs, and I don't know if people are ready for what's now, about to happen. Now, now, brother, this is what I'm thinking. Uh, when you when you relayed all that to me and it's playing into my head, it's giving me like some reminder of like when the Ford model back in the day the great depression came around you know what i'm saying when they started building when the ford factory was actually building stuff by hand and then it started going into the machine era and then families started losing jobs during the great depression era exactly wow bro. exactly automation so a lot of people's jobs are going to become obsolete so i suggest a lot of people make sure that you're secure in the industry that you're in all right, and if you see that things are like that happening, make sure that you're able to transition out of that industry to something that would be more where humans are going to be utilized. Like one thing I noticed, like the the medical industry, um, that's an industry that AIs are not going to be that great in. Maybe AIs are going to be able to partake in surgery. There's going to be machines that's going to be able to do surgery and stuff like that. But when you talk about nursing care and actually caring of a human being, uh, we need a human being's touch. A robot touch is not going to do it, right? Um, we as human beings, we have we have a spiritual factor to us that robots do not contain. So those type of industries, uh, they're going to be safe. They're going to be secure. Okay. But when you're talking about just things being delivered and um, mechanical, like factory work and stuff like that, a lot of people are going to lose jobs. They got machines that can build houses right now. Yeah, that was crazy. Remember, they even had the digital rapper the other day they had to take down. So I'm like, what? It's like FM Mecca. Yeah, it's like, it's like, like I don't know, like the, the quote one of them old reggae songs. What kind of world are we living in? You know what I'm saying? I don't know what kind of world we living in, but we just here. And just like you said, if we not financially, not even financially stable in what we're supposed to do to make ourselves stable in this platform what we call life i don't know what's gonna happen bro i don't know what's gonna happen because that's a weird introduction to things you know what i'm saying because i actually just seen you say yeah man this man making robots if you technically think about it with minimum wage going out the average minimum wage across this country and he said he's making affordable robots at 20 bands I'm pretty sure the average household ain't gonna have this this AI robot in their household, or they're gonna have to pay for it um, monthly payments, like a big. Yeah, there's gonna be a finance program for the robot. Let me say something. At one point, it's gonna be um, necessary for you to have a robot because mm-hmm. there's certain there's certain tasks that we do as human beings. Um, it's time consuming, and then you're gonna see other people with robots that are able to 
do other things in life, right? They're going to be able to like, okay, time is money. So there's a lot of things that a robot can save you time. And then, and hence, you're going to be able to make more money. It's going to be opportunity to make money in other areas because this robot is handling, handling these tedious tasks. All right. So at the end, at the end of the day, it's going to be more like the more people that you see with robots, you're going to start feeling like you need a robot also. Yeah. Now there's gonna be there's gonna be a, a minute. There's always gonna be an exception. There's always gonna be a particular group that's gonna say they're gonna be against robots, yeah. right? That's yeah. fine. Yeah. But for major majority, this is a monkey see, monkey do society. All right, and everybody will be acclimated. And Ninety percent of the world is followers. This point in the, at this point in the world, it's like why try to use scissors to cut your grass when there's a lawnmower. Yeah, like imagine when the, the lawnmower was implemented. The first person with the lawnmower, that's a great example. Imagine the first person you saw with a lawnmower. And imagine the first person you saw with a sitting lawnmower. So yeah. now you here with your regular lawnmower, you push your lawnmower, and this guy comes driving by with a sitting lawnmower. Yeah. That didn't yeah. make you think like, you know what? I, I think I need to get me a sitting lawnmower. Of course. Right? Of course, yeah. So that's technology changes things. It makes things yeah. more convenient. And remember, yeah. time is money. Yeah, some, that's why I say it's a... To every situation, you know what I'm saying. Everybody could look at it like, "Oh, the mob got it beast," and you know, some people dreads and be like, "Oh, I'm technology and this and that," and be like, be like man, I ain't got to lift this thousand pound weight. I will let my AI lift that thing for me and put it on that car for me. You know what I'm saying? Why am I gonna hurt my back and go to this doctor? You that know part, I mean? that part, I understand that part. You know what I'm saying? But the next person who, like you say, yeah, man, trust me, overstand. Now, there's certain tasks that we do as human beings that's a part of our nature, all right? Like, um, they say, like, just uh, actually, like, us hunting for food and stuff like that. Like, before we used to hunt for food, right? So they say within that process of hunting for food, you're losing weight. So it helps with you maintaining your diet, right? Because you're not actually just conveniently going to the store. You have to actually go out there and hunt for your food. So there's certain activities that we do as human beings instinctively that's that's made for us to preserve us, right? But I'm not really speaking of those activities. I'm talking about the tedious activities, just delivering things. Like imagine if you didn't have to deliver. Imagine if you worked in the trucking industry and you had your own personal robot. So now what you're going to do, you're going to contract your robot out. Because guess what? There's some industries that probably going to say, you know what? I don't want to buy a robot, but if you have a, ro a robot mm -hmm. that meets our requirements, we will use your robot. Mm -hmm. Right? So guess what now? You can lease out your robot. Mm -hmm. You'll say, you know what? I'm going to let my robot, which is well, is uh, definitely meets all the requirements, and I'm going to let you guys contractually use, I'm going to contract out my robot, and you're getting paid off of your robot. Hey. That's business one on one right there. Business one on one. So definitely that the AI, the AI is coming. Yeah, man. Artificial it's intelligence is here. It's not even coming. It's here. Robots are yeah. here, and Elon Musk is at the front, the forefront of technology, and he's in the forefront of where society's going, how society's structured. Elon Musk is at the forefront. All right, and um, right. everybody's gonna have to get acclimated. You see, everybody's adjusting to Elon Musk, regardless yeah. of the fact. Get left, you know what I'm saying? Get right or get left. That's it, man. That's how that's how he's programmed it. How do you get right or get left behind? Because them boys trying to go to the moon. <laughs> Elon Musk is revolutionizing traveling. Okay, Elon sure. Musk is basically saying that he's um he wants to get to to Mars, right? Mm -hmm. And he's gonna be charging people. What he said, uh, a million dollars a flight or something. They trying to actually stake land and claim on Mars. Yeah. Yeah. And build a like, 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 you know what I'm saying? So, I, I, I seen a little bit, and I'm like, okay, I know that, that, that you be into that guy because you know we're at the forefront of what he's. Man, I'm an Elon Musk fan, bro.